The big story about the new MacBook Pro is the touch bar, which brings the best parts of the iPad software keyboard to the Mac. It's pretty slick. The touch bar is an OLED strip of contextual controls that replaces the function keys. You can bring those keys back anytime, so your old keyboard shortcuts still work. But you'll probably have to look down to make sure you're tapping the right spot, since there's no haptic feedback. The touch bar lets you slide to adjust volume or screen brightness, instead of tap tap tapping on an up or down key. That's pretty cool right there, and so is using Touch ID to unlock your Mac, authorize changes to system preferences, and use Apple Pay. Even better, Touch Bar presents different controls for each app, and most of them are really useful. It surfaces things that used to be hidden behind keyboard shortcuts, like the emoji picker. In Mail, you can sort your inbox and format text. Video playing in Safari? The Touch Bar lets you pause or rewind, which is so much easier than having to find those same controls on screen. You can even customize the Touch Bar for each app, adding buttons by dragging them down from an on-screen menu. Make sure to visit System Preferences Keyboard to customize the control strip, too. You can set up a button that'll take a screenshot and attach it to a new email in just a couple of taps. Every Apple app uses the touch bar, from iTunes to the terminal. Third-party developers will be able to program for it, too. And apps like Office, Photoshop, Pixelmator, and OmniFocus plan to add support. I'm really into the touch bar already. It's the main reason I want to get a MacBook Pro. And I think it's only going to get better from here. For the rest of our MacBook Pro review, be sure to check out Macworld.com. Yeah.